Vinyl Community, Jeff here again, another time to do some more of my Kiss Collection. All right, on this part, on this part of the uh, collection, we're going to be doing tour books and regular books. Um, but before I go there, I do see, uh, I, I saw it right before I started, that I realized there was something I forgot on the CD collection part. Real quick, I wanted to show, I had that Kiss box set. Um, it's, eh, it's got little dings on here, but I actually bought this used at a local store many, many years ago. Um, where everything is intact, the cover is just a little, looks like a little dirty. But this is the box set that's, you know, it's got, it's got mostly a lot of unreleased type bonus tracks but it's kind of like the best of intermingled with all kinds of you know exclusive type tracks and you know it comes with uh, a book and there was an addition to this I guess it was in a guitar case which was a little guitar case it's got a big book with all kinds of big big book with all kinds of history and stuff um, official merchandise catalog and then it's basically just four CDs stacked in this little velvety looking box this one two three four and each one so it's kind of neat because it's got a lot of just weird demos and stuff like that which is kind of neat to look into so yeah forgot to show that on the cd but anyway getting into this one we're going to look at tour books and regular books i think i can knock all these out pretty quick i looked through as i was pulling out my tour books i realized i'm missing some and then i realized ah over the years I guess I've sold some of them off. I, you know, you go through those phases like, do I really need this stuff? Why am I buying these? And so I was looking, I'm like, I know I bought one at that concert. Where is it? I'm like, oh, I think I sold that. Um, anyway, so yeah. And then I've got some here that I definitely did not go to the concerts for that I bought. So I have bought some of these. You run across them on eBay. I ran across some one recently on Facebook. And so occasionally I'll grab them. So it's kind of dumb. You buy some and then you sell some. I don't know. I guess you go through those phases. Um, worldwide 1995-96 this is as old as this is, looks like the oldest one I've got I did not see this show this would have been the revenge era and you know the books tend to be you know it's, they used to always just be photos from that particular era like you'll see in here this is all revenge era but in recent shows books as we see going forward there are it's kind of like they've got all kinds of just archived type photos so there's that I know I used to have one from Animalize with Mark St. John, and I think because that one's a little harder to find at some point, I must have sold it off. I remember I bought it on eBay in the past 15 years, and I guess at some point I sold it in the past 15 years. Um, Alive Worldwide, 96, 97. So this would have been the reunion tour. So now we got Ace and Peter. So this is going to be, and I think... I, I'm going to say that I might have even had a different, there was a different edition of this particular tour book that I think I had more than 20 years ago, probably around the time that it was came out, that I thought there was one that was had a silver cover, more like a silver, but maybe I'm mistaken. I swear I used to have one that was all silver, more like a, with black on the front, I don't know, getting old. All right, anyway, so, 96, 97. We jump into 98, 99, the Psycho Circus Tour. Another one that I did not see physically myself. And again, we got Peter and Ace, and it's going to have a lot of the stuff from this time frame. So this is kind of cool, just st stuff from this era. And then we move up to the Millennium one, which again, I did not see. Again, we got Peter and Ace still. This one is pretty big. It's got a die cut cover, and it's pretty hefty. Um, I assume this is a tour program, unless it was just some kind of a special book that was released. But this is where you've got all kinds of archives and all kinds of stories and stuff written in here. So it is, it's a little more, I don't know. I don't know if this was something that was sold. Maybe it's because of the Millennium they just made this. It's a big one. It's a monster one. All right, and then this one, World Domination 2003 to 4. This concert I did go to, and I did buy this one, I believe, at the concert. So this would have been, yeah, I moved back to Virginia in 2002. This would have been the year, and this was the 2004 where the Live in Virginia Beach concert album came from, would have came from this one. And this is, of course, by this time we've got Tommy and Eric in the band, and it is, I think it's mostly just from that time frame. 
Now, um, I saw them again in 2012, and I do not recall if I bought a tour book. I saw them, I believe, in 2008. I do not believe if I bought a tour book. I, I, I can't believe I went there and didn't buy a tour book. I, I'm, so I'm either I had them and I sold them. I need to go back and look them up and see if I can find what they are. I saw them in 2014. I have the photos for all of these shows. That's why I'm remembering the dates. 2008, I think 2010, August of 2010. 2014, I bought the tour book. That was the one that had the 40th on the front, and that's one of the ones I sold. That one I know I bought. I had that one, 40th. Uh, and then saw them in 2018, which is, I believe, wait a minute, oh, this one I guess I bought online, 2013, The Monster, I saw them in 2014, and I'm not sure if this was a tour book that they were selling at the time, but I know I picked this one up online, so... So maybe I did. I think I, I did see this show because I remember um, it says tour 2013, but I saw them in 2014. Maybe it was a still a follow up. Monster was still the new album, and I think they believe I believe they played like one song from it. I'm like, really? Uh, anyway, and then 2018 would have been the end of the road tour, which of course is not the end of the road because they're still doing the end of the road tour in 2023. So the um, the final tour that never ends five years later. So the 41, I remember, had just a lot of archive stuff, just as this one does. I mean, it's got stuff from the early days, stories and stuff like that. And then when you get near the end, it's all, it's kind of like, so it's, you get a little more than usual. You get, at the end, you get the, the more modern stuff for this tour features, but the whole front of the book, and it was like that for that 40th that I had, most of the front had all kinds of, you know, archived older stuff so there you go that is the tour books that i have currently that is such a cool picture i've seen there is a version out there of this which i think is a there is a um that's a cool picture there's another version that's got like that on the cover out there anyway all right let's jump into these oh these are heavy i'm going to try to breeze through these because i do not have I'm going to try to breeze through these. I don't have time to go through all these. I already showed this. I have a link to most of these videos. At the end of my video, you'll see there's a link to show the... I'm not going to do a separate video on Kiss and Comic Books because I already did one a couple years ago. And so I linked it in the video at the end. You can view it. That would be part of this series of Kiss and Comic Books. And in that, I showed this real quick. This is a Kiss Compendium. It's basically a massive graphic novel of all the comic books on high quality high gloss all the comic books released up to the point of this which probably is 10 years old now this book was monster there have been quite a few comics since this time but this included all of the originals everything from marvel all the way up to all the psycho circus shears and all that stuff okay some of these books are just you got the ultimate fanzine experience this is a cool book that has uh, 76 to 2009 and it's just filled with all kinds of pictures of covers of fanzines and stories and just to me it kind of reminds me of what the uh the kissology books the history books probably had in them um, which i would love to have those history books but i do not have those they were always way out of price of my price range like 150 bucks a piece sealed with a kiss is lydia kisses book about all the backstage stuff and all the back fun stuff it's her whole story of the early kiss years um from her angle pictures that she took of the band without makeup back in the day so this is all Lydia kisses you know story of them on the road when she spent time you know out on the road with kiss and then some of these are just you know the complete touring history this is kind of neat it's just got all the dates and, and places they played and it's got stories some stories and set lists and everything from beginning to up to the point where this book was written I guess this is more photography. This is more about, it's all kinds of, of photography of the early years. It's just archives and archives of photos and from all the early years with storyline explaining a lot of it. The story behind every song. Story, it's information about all the songs. So, Hotter Than Hell. 
All right, now when it comes to biographies, biographies. Oh, get this one. Peter Chris. I have read the Peter Chris one. I own the Peter Chris one. In my opinion, probably the most self-destructive of all the biographies. This one just, you know, I couldn't help but didn't really feel sorry for Peter. I felt like he was just self-destructive, and it was really sad. I read the Ace one. I borrowed that from the library. I do not own that. I remember used to go to the library a lot and check out books. I've read a lot of biographies just from checking them on the library. I read D. Snyder, Dave Mustaine, Tony Iommi. Um, I could either rent them at, check them out the library, or do the digital library, uh, get like a Kindle type digital book. Um, so, and I read the Paul Stanley one, but I do not own that. I read that one too. The Paul Stanley was probably the most well balanced. Didn't attack a lot of people. Ace Fairly showed he, to me, was very confessional of him showing his self destructive attitude. He took blame. He didn't take. The, I mean, he. He took, you know, he took the blame for what happened. You know, it, it, he, it was just honest, in my opinion. It felt honest. Whereas, you know, Peters felt self-destructive and like he was making excuses and trying to cover up his stuff. Um, Gene never, I mean, Gene had this one, Kiss and Makeup, which I've read pieces of it. This came out years before all the bands started doing theirs. So this would be kind of considered his, but then he also has Kiss and Money, which is just him talking about how he makes money and stuff. So... That was uh, interesting. Nothing to lose. This one came in not too long ago. This is basically, if I'm not recalling this one correctly, it's a lot of interviews. Two of these books are interviews from back in the day uh, where they... Um, these are the stories where they took a bunch of interviews and intertwined them to make a continuing type story. So it's either this one or that one. But it's just a lot of interviews from over the years. And it does have some photos in there. So this was really cool. The Making of Kiss, the early year, 72 to 75. And this is the other one. Well, maybe that's what I'm getting confused about. Okay, Kiss Facts. All that's left to say about the hottest band in the world. Again, it's a bunch of more writings and stuff. This is probably the one behind the mask. I know one of them. Look, I got pages marked in here. One of them was, it seemed like they took a lot of old interviews and intertwined them to tell, you know, to certain topics. And had all kinds of people from road crew to uh, helpers to all that stuff. But there's a lot of information in here. And there's a lot of, you know, there's diagrams and photos and things like that. So this one was a really good read, I recall. I, those, all three of those were really good read. And this one I bought years ago on eBay. I don't know, the making of a super good kiss and... Kiss and Sell, it's just about, oh, it's a book like chronicling a lot of the uh, merchandise that the band had and what and how they merchandise things and um, anyway, kind of a look at the merchandising side. So anyway, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, like I said, I've read some books that I just don't own, but that's it. That's all the books. Let's cut this here because it's getting longer than I had hoped. And I thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.